How you doing, YouTubers? Jerry here. I just want to show you, give you guys a rundown on how to program this uh, Home Patrol 2 uh, using uh, Santennial. And, uh, first thing you do, uh, it already comes with the memory card in it. All you got, probably got, just got to push it up into the back where the battery compartment is. Make sure it's properly installed. Uh, put it all back together. Put your batteries back in and everything. Turn it on. One minute here. Yeah, turn it on. There we go. You gotta turn on the home patrol screen, that there. It'll load your file. Then this screen here will come up. Then I have the USB oops sorry, the USB connected. To program it, you're gonna want to press mass storage. If you press DC supply, you're just gonna scan the scanner. You're gonna wanna hit this. It's gonna go to that screen there. Your computer's gonna make a noise. That's USB mass storage. And it's just going to stay on that screen until you get it programmed. Go back over to your computer. And you're going to want to pull up the Centennial page. Now, here on, you'll be able to program your radio. Sorry, I don't have the way, uh... I don't have the, uh... The actual, uh... What do you call it? The thing where you can do it on the screen. I'm using my cell phone, but yeah. Here's my uh, favorites list. Well, this is what I'm using right here. Uh, again, I'm using this just for uh, the West Police. So most of the stuff I have uh, locked out. Uh, law enforcement. It gives you the whole rundown of what's in it, what's not in it. All the reds not in it, of course. All the blacks in it. Uh, once you're done all that, and then you can just go right up here, and you can actually write to the, uh, as soon as you get your system all set up, then you can write to the home patrol. Uh, when I first got this thing, I was all confused. Uh, you know how us guys are, we don't read nothing. <laughs> but, uh, it's actually a pretty cool setup. Um, the way this was, I just uh, put everything in it. This is my favorites list. Uh, Chester County right here. Emergency services. It's basically the same thing. I'm not using this here, but I am using this Harris system. It's right here, this one. It's basically the same thing. It's just duplicated. That's the way I have it programmed into the uh, Home Patrol. This right here is just so you can search for different databases. You can get your Canada database. And that's the main one up there I'm using right here. System type. ID search is on. And I'm not using the East and Central site because I can't get none on there anyway. So I'm using the uh, the West, which is right here. And that's the only thing I'm scanning off of. Uh, I can't hear anything on the East and Central anyway. And all it does is uh, sticks on it. Try, it tries to find that site, so um, that's locked out. I'm not worrying about it. But anyway, that's a basic rundown on uh, programming the. Uh, Unit in Home Patrol 2. And then uh, once that's done, once you've got your scanner program, turn it off by the button up here. Just like that. Your computer will make a noise. Turn it back on. Now, it's that wire is still hooked up right here, so. And that screen will come up again. There it is. And I hit DC supply, and it will bring in the system that you just programmed, which is right there. And that's pretty much it. And that's all you got to do to uh, program the unit in. Thank you, YouTubers. Have a nice day.